I've been talking about fat loss a lot lately, and that's because losing fat is the main thing that my team and I help people with. But we help people build muscle too. In fact, the thing that works really well when it comes to retaining muscle mass when dieting for fat loss also works exceptionally well when it comes to building muscle. What many people don't realize though is that building muscle is your best long-term fat loss solution. Growing muscle improves your metabolism, which makes fat loss easier in the long run. Now, if you're trying to build muscle, there's something that you need to know. There is one thing I see people completely up when they're lifting weights to try and build muscle. It's not that they're doing the wrong exercises. It's not that they're using the wrong rep ranges. It's not forgetting to do supersets or drop sets or myo reps. The biggest mistake people make in the gym is they're exercising, but they're not actually training. Exercise is great. There is absolutely nothing wrong with exercise. I'm in the gym, doing the exercises, but I'm not concentrating. Maybe I'm rushing it. Maybe just talking to a friend. Mostly, I'm finishing the set before I actually need to. Training, however, looks like this. I'm getting locked in for my set. I've got a rep number or target RIR in my head that I'm going to hit or that I need to beat. I don't stop the set when I've got a sweat on or when it really starts to burn. I stop the set when I've hit the target for that day. Sometimes that's failure. Sometimes that's a couple of reps left in the tank. But why do we need to train so hard to grow? So let's start from the top. Muscles are made up of thousands of muscle fibers. The fibers themselves are bundled into these things called motor units. When your brain sends the signal for that muscle to contract, some motor units get activated to perform the task, but our body is lazy. It wants to conserve energy. So it only really recruits the muscle fibers that it needs in order to perform the task at hand. If the task is easy, only a few motor units are recruited. But if a task is challenging, like when you push really close to failure, that's when the bigger and bigger motor units actually get recruited. And the biggest motor units, the ones that only get recruited right at the end, they contain the most muscle fibers within them. So if we're just exercising and going through the motions, we might only be stimulating a few hundred muscle fibers. That's not a lot of growth. But when we concentrate and take the set really close to failure, close to the point where we couldn't possibly do another rep, that's when thousands of muscle fibers get stimulated and we end up seeing the most muscle growth. But remember, training hard doesn't mean ego lifting. Training hard means when the set is getting hard and you feel the urge to use momentum or to throw the weight around, fight that urge. There's a saying that every exercise is a lower back exercise if you ego lift it enough. Do you want a big lower back or big biceps? Wow. So fight the urge and concentrate. So how do you know whether you're actually training hard enough to grow? There are two things that I typically look for in client form videos to assess this. Number one is involuntarily slowing of the concentric phase. What the hell does that mean? It means when you're doing rep after rep, eventually you're going to be pushing on the weight as hard as possible but it's not going to move as fast as the previous reps did. Now that's a great sign that you're getting to full motor unit recruitment, which means stimulating more or all of those muscle fibers that you need to grow. So if you finish your set and rep number 10 move just as fast as rep number one, you're probably not quite there yet. Number two is facials. Not a single human in the history of the earth has ever taken a set close to failure though, whilst also maintaining a straight face. Think about it, I have never seen it. You ever seen those influencers who post seven minute at home ab routines and they just look entirely awesome and non fuss the entire time? It's because they're exercising, they're not training. That's seven minutes of your life you're never going to get back after having watched that video. If you're not making the ugliest lifting face that even your mother couldn't love, chances are you could benefit from training just a little bit harder. A number one recommendation for making sure you're training hard enough is simply taking one set all the way to failure. Concentrate, don't let your form break down, but take it to the point where you are pushing on the weight and nothing is actually happening. Keep it safe, so use a machine so that you don't get pinned underneath a bar, but take yourself all the way there and teach yourself that you're capable of way more than you actually think. By the way, if you want access to our free training program templates, both male and female versions are available, complete with sets, reps, and video exercise tutorials for all of the exercises involved. Simply comment the word program down below and I'll send them right over to you.